Hi, my name is Shahid Bashir. Uh, in this video, I will tell you something about how to check the validity and reliability of the instruments. So, by continuing our previous examples, so this section that first relates the general definitions about what is validity and reliability and how they are important in a particular research. Validity refers to the accuracy of measurement whether the conceptual and operational definitions are truly a reflection of the underlying concepts to be measured. On the other hand, reliability refers to the degree to which measures are free from errors and yields consistent results from the study so blah 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 uh, according to okay uh, the res results from a research must not only be reliable but they must be valid in terms of operational required sorry operational requirement so a good study in simple words will reflect not only the reliable but valid outcomes so to assess the validity and reliability what i found an easy way of demonstration in this way okay what this table is doing first the term itself and then its definition and then its assessment strategies for example validity in terms of this it, its definition a measure is valid when the used measurement tools reflect true differences of subject or measures which is supposed to be measured in this study so what are the assessment strategies the researcher used variety of integrated processes to determine the information about construct concept and objects of the interest in this study so then we have further content validity okay not going to the definition just simply how to assess okay several steps were applied number one carefully defined concern topic items to be scaled and scales to be used in the study number two all dimensions were taken from prior prior research sorry all dimensions were taken from prior literature review and uh, then feedbacks taken from a panel of five professionals who have experiences in online shopping and then pre-test of questionnaires with 40 respondents before actual field work so then to assess the construct validity we have applied some statistical tests such as Cronbadge alpha analysis exploratory factor analysis confirmatory factor analysis structure equational modeling and then to check the reliability actually this test the crown batch alpha test is usually used to check the reliability of the instruments okay then okay bit messy but okay uh, all you can see easily then carefully differentiated concepts and indicators used 
multiple indicators for each concept and broaden the sample of measurement questions pre-test the survey instruments before it is administered exclude extreme extreme responses drawn from measurement questions use statistical data such as coefficient alpha and factor loading so all these will be used